good mythical monkey. Or should I say, bad mythical monkey. Because the monkeys in Costa Rica like to hide away, and from my experiences, they appear to be just a myth. Hello, this is Frontline here, and I'm going to tell you the story of me and my family's trip over to Costa Rica, where the grass is green, the sounds of nature are all around you, and sweat drips from you like a leaky tap. From the start of the vacation, we are determined to find monkeys. The first animal we saw better be a monkey, or else. The resort we were at even advertised that they had monkeys, even with the trail leading back into the jungly areas where they would be able to hang out. But the first day we were there, there were still no monkeys. Day two. We were able to go on a day tour of a different part of the country while we were there. We were able to zip line through the trees. No monkeys there. Go rock climbing. Still no monkeys. And even be able to go rafting through the jungle. I didn't expect the monkeys to be swimming, but I was still mad that they weren't there. The next few days were very uneventful, and we were able to just relax in the hotel room. Even though our hotel was actually right next to the jungly area, we still were able to see no monkeys. Our inability to find monkeys was really bothering us at that point. We actually took it to an advertisement that we saw on the way to the resort for the monkey farm. Getting to the monkey farm, it seemed like it was a trap, because we kept having to go through different sketchy neighborhoods and stuff, and the only thing reassuring us that we were going the right way were signs saying monkey farm up ahead. So we kept going because why not? Despite all of that, we were able to arrive at the farm pretty safely. There was only one guy there, a Canadian who was visiting down for a few months to volunteer at the place. The place had actually many animals there, not just monkeys. They had horses, they had peacocks, goats, and other animals as well. For whatever reason that I still don't know, they actually rescue the squirrel, but I have never heard of a facility that would ever try to rescue just a little squirrel. Are they endangered? Does the guy running the place have something for squirrels? Does the squirrel just look cool? Back to the Canadian hippie that was actually in the farm volunteering there. He told us that we actually had arrived at peak heat, so that means that there are actually no monkeys around because they're resting. Nonetheless, the guy actually still showed us around, looking at the various different things that were there. We checked out the animals that I was talking about earlier, and he also was able to show us different plants that were there. The farm is supposed to be self-sustaining, so basically if natural disaster hits, the plants would be able to sustain the farm and would be able to run no matter what. One of the plants that this guy actually shows us is a plant that he says is supposed to pop open cancer cells and kill them dead. Now, what's interesting is that he also tells us that this is a weed in Canada. Stinking Canadians trying to pass off their cancer cures as weeds. Of course, the statement makes him lose his credibility. If he thinks that that plant cures cancer, maybe none of the other plants really had as many nutrients as he thought that they did. Either way, even going to the monkey farm, we were able to see no monkeys. We pretty much gave up our search at that point. The point of all this is that the monkeys of Costa Rica are not only bad, but they are most likely a myth. Bad mythical monkey. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.